Welcome to Veracity Trigger, Brigadine fans. So today's video is going to be about the Lance or Spear class, and we're going to go over that right now. So there's a few types that can uh, carry a Spear or a Lance in this game, and so we're going to go over some of that here. First of all, uh, this is my file with Manislesia, so we're going to look at... We are going to look at Emma here, but what I want to do first is I want to class her into the Spear maiden class the lancer class <laughs> so we're gonna go uh the final tier is royal guard we're gonna go back to this and we're gonna look at what the equipment for lances are all about here okay so if we're gonna look at the lancing class let's first um let's first do this here we're going to go over what each of these does and uh, what what it says. So if we're going to give her this spear, you're going to notice on the top right here how the CP value is changing. This uh, CP value right here, it's going to change uh, numbers as we move through the spears because it's, it's basically the game's denoting how powerful this spear is compared to the others. So these ones are at the bottom this one's a little bit better we move up into the purple and you can see a, a bigger a lot bigger change there and we get into the yellow so you can see how that changes too so we're going to start off with the basic um, rinky dink spears so give her a thunder spear see how that changes so really just gave her a green element orb to her attack so she's going to have an extra green attack to be able to utilize against an enemy so let's say she's fighting against another blue opponent she'll be a little better prepared for that so let's go back down to the frost spear so we can give her a blue orb instead and uh, you're going to be able to see the you're going to be able to see that if we back out here you can see how she has an extra blue orb on her attack down here let's also notice this and notice this this basically means she's equipped with something if that's highlighted so i just need you to just just remember that please um all right so let's move up to swift spear we lose the green orb for you know for extra damage but we gain three basic attack and three agility this could be why it's actually valued a little bit more so three extra attack for just basically anything without having an orb affiliation is typically a pretty good thing plus agility can help you dodge some attacks too so that's a pretty good uh, spear right there move up to light spear well not as good in a lot of ways but this gives you plus eight percent accuracy so your accuracy will be a little bit better we move up to the steel spear so you can see the attack is plus eight to our basic attack pool and so this plus eight and this plus eight this is going to go up to this number once we boom equip it just like that okay so that's a pretty good upgrade so that's all the basic spears for that let's go up to the conflicting lance here now this is interesting because you're actually going to get to use a white and purple orb or white and dark orb to attack with it's giving you accuracy and agility like a giant boost so it gives you the agility for the accuracy and the dodge plus also extra accuracy for attack so you get two boosts in accuracy with this conflicting lance so we're gonna go ahead and equip it we're gonna back out we're just gonna make sure we know how it looks so this is how it looks on emma here now we have three blue orbs our natural blue orbs are being a royal guard and the white and black orb you're like well how is that going to help me well it gives you more orbs and more orbs actually does help you get more damage against those that don't have as many defensive orbs but it can give you an offensive advantage to an angel or a demon so it doesn't matter you can fight ethereal things a little bit better so we're going to go back into here we're going to change this out now that you know what that does let's go to the aqua lance so you're not going to have the uh, blue and you're not going to have the white and uh, black orb, but instead you are going to gain three intelligence, 20 MP, and extra blue orbs. So if we uh, back out here, you're going to notice how uh, 
We're at a full five bar with blue orbs. Pretty cool. Basically, it'll help us take down anything that's red. Ancient Dragons comes to mind. So, just saying. So let's go back in here. Let's uh, put on the Lightning Lance, MP plus 25. So we lost intelligence, but we gained MP. Mm, really depends on like how you feel about that. I think maybe MP for Lancers might be a little bit better. It's your call. But um, that's how it looks there. Let's go back in here. So now we're going to look at the Ice Lance here. So we've got Night Attack, which is great. I mean, fantastically great. Two extra blue orbs and agility. So pretty good stuff pretty good stuff so we're still at five but this might be one of the best purple orb weapons you can get but now we're going to go up to lightning gungnir all right so this is three green orbs mp of 30 attack of 15 attack of 15 intelligence plus 10 which is pretty good for uh you know uh surviving divine rays curses or whatever um, but uh, that's pretty cool. So we get three green orbs of attack, right? Let's go ahead and pop that on there. So now, now that we went up to six, we've lost that, you know, that little five bar slot position. Now we can get up to nine orbs. Like nine orbs is literally like finishing up how much you can get in the game. So there's still more orbs that you can equip through defensive gear to get those uh, attacking orbs up a little bit higher. But that's essentially, you know, what you get with that. So green and blue would make you very effective against attacking uh, something that's blue because green beats blue and something red. So you can beat blue and red things a little bit easier this way. All right, so let's, um, Lightning Gungnir is a pretty darn good weapon, honestly. But the Jeweled Trishula, I would say, Personally, maybe I'd like a little bit better. It has attack, it has three blue orbs, it has extra MP, and this awesome, awesome, awesome extra mobility right there. I would just give that a star right there, just like that. So we're going to pop this on there. We're going to pop this bad boy on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and check out the stats here. So let's back out. Let's look at that. We've got, we've got now six... Six blue orbs for attack, which is pretty boss. If you go up against something else that is even remotely weak, <laughs> like you go up against a dragon, uh, the Rail Guard Emma right now will be a dragon slayer because of this. So she's going to be very proficient at that and also going after uh, other elements that are the same kind and you having more than they have will make you better overall. So, all right. So I can showcase that. Um, let's look at... So she has one here, right? So let's look at the Siren. So the Siren can also equip this type of gear too. Now the Siren is blue elemental. And if we're going to look at this, we get two blue orbs there with that. You know, if we're going to take away the jeweled Trishula, the, uh, the Siren will get to move a little bit further too. A little bit more attack and all that and the uh, lightning gung near and we could do this instead maybe give it uh blue and green so the siren diana is actually very proficient at fighting its own kind uh maybe something that is blue so let's say like a blue dragon came after it or rubino or something like that they're not that strong but she'll be a little bit stronger so sometimes you might want to give something like this a little bit more mobility so that you can get this siren into battle a little bit easier and um yeah that's just something to you know kind of take note of but if we're going to look at um how does this stack up with other things well essentially we're just going to go ahead and equip some gear here and equip uh whatever we can find really and you're going to notice this that um, once we equip the spear you see how everything's going up we're going up how much go 
Going up five points of agility. Going up five points of strength. Five points of intelligence. So almost everything's like five points here, right? Uh, doesn't really get, you know, the Thunder Spear doesn't really give much else. Uh, what are we getting with MP? We're getting 10 points of MP. And our combat power goes up too. Attack does... Three forty with this on and three thirty. So let's get like seven more attack. Okay. So now what do we do if we put on all purple gear? Let's try that out. Probably should do this first. Okay. So we get seven agility. Two to nine, that's seven strength. Seven intelligence. Defense goes up to, to seven as well. Attack goes up 10. So it's 10. Seven's with everything else, it seems. And with uh, MP, we're going up 50. 15 points, or is it, is that 15 points? Yeah, we're going up 15 points there. Okay, so purple gear does that. Now let's check out all gold gear. Check out all gold gear, let's see what that does. I want to put on something that doesn't have... Okay. So that'll give us mobility because the Jewel Trishula gives extra mobility. But if we're going to look at this here, just ignore the mobility for a second. Just just don't worry about this for a second. That's not, that's not what the bonus is going to give us because we're looking at the all-star bonus on the top left here. You see how this just kind of just appears when we have the ability to do this. Um, but we're going to get... We are going to get, what are we going to get? 410 agility, 10 strength, 10 intelligence, 7. Looks like 10 defense, and attack is going to go up by. Well, that's because it's <laughs> it has the attack boost too, but. Um, Looks like we're going up quite a lot with attack, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then we're going up a lot with uh, MP. But that's also because the MP boost that each of these weapons actually has. This one's 20 and this one's 30. Uh, so if we take off 30 or 30, so 330 for MP. So we're going up 20 MP naturally. So if we're to do this with this as well, they're both 15, so we take off 15, that'd be 353. 353. So that's how much you're gonna go up. So, all right, let's... popped it on there we got the all-star bonus so essentially what you really want to do is you want to try to have a full set of something you know whether it's white purple or gold gear but uh, that's essentially what you get with the spear class in this game so I hope this uh, video was helpful hope you enjoyed it uh, please leave some likes some comments I'd love to hear from you uh, any perspectives um, any way you like to gear up with a spear character, with a royal guard character in this game. I love to hear it. Um, I will have some more videos coming out very soon. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be trying to focus on some more of these uh, helpful videos here. And we'll get them out as soon as I can. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. You know, definitely do the thing you have to do. You know, subscribe too. I'd uh, 
like to hear about that. And I also have more LP videos coming out as well. Still playing with the Republic of Gamol at the moment. And uh, when I finish that, then we'll be going into the next game. Thanks for watching. Take care.